That was a powerful one. Commander Low, can you hear me? Brink, we're looking for you. We've got the last of the metal plates and we... Listen to me, Commander. I'm trapped. I need your help. Where are you? It's near one of the light bridges. An arched bridge over a waterfall and then into a crevice in the rock. You must have been there. You're the one who's been turning on all the light bridges, aren't you? Hold tight, we're on our way. Hold tight? Very funny. What do you think? Was this the skull of a sentient being? Or a pet? Or a beast of burden? I don't know, but I'm pretty sure it's dead. It's a strange shaped jawbone. The teeth still look strong. It's radiating energy.
You've just got your hand jammed in the rock? I thought you were in real trouble, Brink. When would it be real trouble, Commander? When it's your hand? I don't go sticking my hand in the cracks. I was reaching for a life crystal, and then the rock shifted. My circulation is cut off. No blood is getting to my hand. You can't pull me out, Commander. Don't leave me to die here. Even if you have to cut off my hand. Don't be so dramatic, Brink. Nobody's going to cut off your hand. Don't make promises you might not be able to keep, Maggie. Are you serious? He's just got a stuck hand. It's a race to see whether gangrene kills him before he dies of thirst or starvation. You'd cut it off. Of course he would. The military trains you to recognize necessity and do it. It would be easier if I had anything to cut it with. Chew it off then! Oh, I would, Brank. But human teeth can't bite through bone. After all that's happened to us, this may be the most horrible. Do something, Commander! Do it now! You're going to saw off his hand with a jawbone? The teeth are razor sharp. What about anesthetic? Do it, Commander! Brace yourself, Brink. <laughs> I can't believe you endured so much pain without fainting. I'm fine. But I need more crystals. Come with us to the Triangle Matrix. We've got all the metal plates. You think it's gonna take us home? You don't know where it's going to take you. I'd rather gather more life crystals. What if it does take us home, Brink? What if we can't come back and get you? Do you want to stay here forever? Then what will happen to your research into the life crystals? Yes, I see your point. I'll go with you to try out these metal plates. But if it doesn't get us home, then you two will stop interfering with me from then on. All right? You agree we have a deal? Agreed. All right, all right. I can't use these two things together. That should do it. Do what? What's happening? Nothing is happening, that's what. It's not exactly nothing, Brink. It's a door. 
You think Earth is on the other side? I think nothing is on the other side. What did you expect? The Tooth Fairy to come and fly us all home? The door opened. Let's go see what's in there. We had a deal. I came, these metal plates did not take us home, and now you will have to leave me alone forever. You gave me your word, and I expect you to keep it. He is definitely insane. Is that your opinion as a journalist? It's my opinion as a sane person. I saw something like this in the museum display. This machine was the greatest of the inventor's achievements. What does it do? I haven't the faintest idea. Do you think it might send us home? Right now it's doing nothing. I don't know what to do with this device. Sorry, Bird. You'll have to find a new home.
Maybe I should take one more life crystal. It won't accomplish anything. Here's where my alien education either pays off, or we die. Die? As long as I don't accidentally offend him, we'll be okay. Akrash Park. He says, open your mouth, which is their way of saying, speak. You do the talking, Maggie, so you can understand each other. Speak. Did you invent the life crystals? To raise the dead is the greatest achievement we've seen. What raises the dead can debase the living. Who are you, honored one? The bringer of misfortune. Please tell me who you are. I am the doer who undoes, the creator who uncreates. And yet, I would gladly be the destroyer who undestroys, the dangerous one who protects. Speak plainly. Tell us who you are. Once, I was hailed as the greatest mind my people ever produced. I tried to bring them power and happiness. I gave them power to leave this world, to leave their bodies, to enter an existence as pure mind, eternally perfect. But I could not give them the power to return and reclaim their abandoned bodies, their decaying world. They are lost and cannot return. 
The creatures who live here now, did you people know of them or did they come later? Millions of years have passed since then. What once were pets or companions have followed their own evolutionary paths. They have become as beautiful or as terrible, as clever or as stupid as it was in them to be. The island we found, where was it hidden? It left this reality, but only a little way. It can come back, because it never fully left. The island moves in and out of our reality? It loses substance with every passage. We thought we could take our world with us into space time six. It could not be done. When something leaves our reality, where does it go? To a place where time is infinite in all directions. But because it does not move along a single line, it can never be predicted or controlled. Those who go there from here cannot change anything. They are nothing but observers. Forever. The machine in your laboratory, what does it do? Where the lights all shine, it opens the eye. The eye. Does that mean the crystal at the meeting place of the light bridges? The machine generated this eye. The eye sees into all space and time. And where the eye sees, the mind can fly. Was this eye the doorway into the place where your people went? A door that can be crossed only one way. You don't know that. If someone has a strong enough tie to reality... Do you think you are stronger than all my people? Even they, the strongest race known, could not overcome the temptation before it was too late. If we bring your people back to this world, then they can build a starship to take us home to Earth. It's our only chance. Maybe we'll fail, but you must let us try. Since you think you are stronger and wiser than my people, I will let you have the fruit of your pride. I will tell you how to find the peace I hid, if you know how to ask. But it will cost you more than you ever imagined. The light bridges are magnificent. We never dreamed that people could walk on light. Ah, uh, yes. We were happily surprised at how convenient those light strands turned out to be. If we had known, we would not have bothered to build the trams. If you were surprised that the lights could be used as bridges, what did you create them for? When all the bridges are complete, the eye will see. When you say the eye will see, you aren't talking about our eyes, are you? An eye that can see the three dimensions of time, as well as the three dimensions of space. It will show you beauty beyond belief. But once you have seen space-time six, will you ever see space-time four again? The eye may be open, but the mind hasn't the strength to see. Please, don't play any more games with us. Where is the missing piece? You cannot understand what will begin if you activate the eye. 
You cannot bear to pay what it will cost you. Yes, you've warned us. Now where is the peace? Go to the map with this message and see what it shows you. said enough. Have you a name? I had a name when I was alive. Now that I am again and again dead, what need have I for names? My body is now so ancient that the crystals scarcely have power over me. I rise for a few minutes and then I fall again. Soon, I will cease to rise at all. Only then will my grief end. I want no name or memory to live after me. Why was your tomb so carefully hidden? So only the most persistent, the most clever, and therefore the most dangerous of visitors would find me. We want to go home. That is the wish of all living creatures. It is a vain wish. For there is no true home. All intelligence wanders and has no rest. Are there side effects to the crystals? What the crystals create is not a life, but a slave. So when the life crystals restore you, you aren't really alive? They restore the cells and the organs, but take away all that made the life worth living. Then why did you make them? Our society became obsessed with living eternally. I underestimated the breadth and danger of the obsession. The crystals are the second worst mistake I made. Thank you for helping us. I will only have helped you when you give up your foolish plan. We're not giving up. My only consolation is that true death comes closer with each dying. Good job of translating, Maggie. He speaks very slowly and clearly. But I'm also pretty damn good.
So that's where the part is. Assuming he gave us the right code. Maggie, come on across. Robbins, what do you think of our situation now, Maggie? You want the truth, Boston? I thought I had faced reality when Brink died. But when that monster carried me off, I finally understood what it means to be in an alien place. Nothing here is going to go the way we expect it. There's no guarantee there even is a way home. We have had some help from the ghosts. Help? They have their own ideas of what they want us to do. They don't care whether we get home or not. But I do, and you do, so we're not giving up. Oh, I know. I'll keep on searching and trying to understand. Even if I die here, I'll at least know something about the place before I croak, right? I guess that's a comfort. As worried as I am for Brink, I can't help feeling a little angry at him. He's wacko. Nuts. Out of his mind with greed. He's not himself. It's those damn crystals. We've got to try and turn on the inventor's machine. It's the only way to find out what it does. What if I hadn't noticed that inscription and taken it with me? We could have wandered around here until we died without ever finding that island. They hide it. Then they help us find it. Who can understand why aliens do what they do? Maybe it's a test of our intelligence. Or maybe it's a test of our dumb luck. Or our persistence. I'll bet he could give information about lots of topics. Thanks. I wish I knew what's going to happen when I get this piece back in place.
Where have you been? Where have we been? I need your crystals. All of them. Right now! Come on, Brink. How many crystals can one man use? Not for me, you fools. I need them for my machine. For science. Research! Give them to me! Machine? What are you talking about? I'm through talking! I'm not going to let anybody stand between me and the greatest scientific achievement in history! I only have these few crystals left, Brink, but I'll be glad to share some of them if you want. All of them! You didn't share anything, Lo. I took them! And it's a good thing you didn't fight me. I would have killed you to get these. You would have tried. You two will be nothing but a footnote in the annals of my achievements. He didn't damage the machine part, did he? It fits, but the machine still doesn't work. Did the alien lie to us? Or does the machine need something else? I guess I'll take this with me.
Get away from here! I won't let you break my life crystal machine! We don't want to break anything. My machine isn't working yet. Yes, gloat if you want to. I've studied all the inscriptions. Maggie's not the only one who can decipher strange languages. I followed the plans I found, but there's still something missing. And without it, the machine won't work. So if you think you can steal my life crystals again, Commander Lowe, think again. I'll kill you first, and believe me, no one will ever revive you. Actually, you robbed me twice, and I only robbed you once. So you're still one ahead. Don't joke with me! Don't joke with him, Boston. Brink. I think I know what piece is missing from your machine. How can you know anything about this? You're not a scientist. You're just a strutting tin soldier. I think it's the same piece that the eye generator needed. I think it's the key to all this technology. The alien inventor hid it because without it, none of the machines he considers dangerous will work. Why would the creator of life crystals think they were dangerous? Because the crystals make you feel so good that they take over your life. All you care about is getting more of them. He said it was the second worst mistake he'd made. And the worst mistake? The eye. So you and Maggie, you keep telling me I'm crazy. <laughs> but you plan to make an even worse mistake. I'll make you a deal, Brink. Yes, like the deal you made before. I keep my part, but you go back on it. I didn't go back on it. I just wanted to talk about it with you first. No deals with liars and thieves. Brink, you need what I have to make your machine work. But if it works, then you'll have plenty of life crystals, right? You could share them with us and it wouldn't cost you anything, right? If you have the missing part, yes. That's my deal. Your machine, my part. 50-50 on the life crystals. I know you plan to cheat me. We won't even come near the machine when it's running. You divide up the life crystals. Then what's to stop me from keeping them all? Because I am trained as a military man, Brink. And if I ever actually decide to fight you, I don't care how strong and healthy you are. You will lose. And then I will take them all. Got it? Get your missing part and put it in my machine. Even liars and thieves can bargain as long as they watch each other very carefully. Frank, there's a dead alien sealed inside a crystal tomb. In a culture that can raise the dead, they probably have a good reason when they choose to bury somebody instead of reviving him. 
Now leave me alone. Can you tell me? I don't have time to waste on foolish discussion of nothing. When the eye is activated, it's a doorway into infinity. We can go in and come out anywhere. It is a meaningless toy compared to what I am working on. There are side effects to the life crystals, Brink. They change your personality. They seem to be making you crazy. Yes, the poor, ignorant fools who slog through the mud of inferior mental functions. They look at brilliance and call it madness. Half the life crystals, Brink. Remember? You don't scare me, you hairless monkey. Remember our deal, Brink. I fix your machine, I get half the life crystals. But I divide them up. I remember very well. I just don't know how yet to link them up. It fits perfectly. This is how the aliens design the life crystal machine to work. Nothing's happening. Yes, it is. It's vibrating. Be patient. Who knows how fast it's supposed to work? We'll just have to wait. Suits me fine. We split them 50-50, right? Of course. 50-50. There's one! And another! Two. Is that all? Just two? I need more than two! I don't know about that, Brink, but it's a sure thing I need more than one. You still have all the crystals you stole from me and every other place on these islands. Don't touch them! 50-50, you said, Brink. Well, you must have hundreds of life crystals. It's not even 50-50 if I take these two. I knew you were a liar and a cheat. You weren't gonna let me have even one of these. I'll make the machine even better. It will produce more. Not till we're gone, it won't. I need that machine part to run the eye generator. You will take nothing from this machine, you lying thief! Once the eye is working, you can either come back with us to Earth, or you can stay here, take the part out of the eye generator, and put it back in your own machine. Just have a little patience. No! My machine is stopping! You've wrecked my machine! You're a dead man! Brink, please. We don't have to fight. You can have the part back after we're done with it. Everything you say is a lie! Maggie, tell him. If you say a word, Maggie, I'll kill you too! Brink, don't make me hurt you. You won't hurt me when you're dead!
Frank! Oh, Maggie, please believe me. I didn't want to hurt him. I didn't want him dead. It wasn't Brink who died here. Brink died when he fell down the hole when we first arrived. What just fell over the cliff was someone else. Someone alien. Created by those death crystals. Maggie, are we making an even worse mistake? By activating the eye? Staying in this world any longer than we have to, that's the worst mistake we could make. We've got to do anything we can to survive. But what if we die trying? Don't you get it, Boston? This place is worse than death. I'd rather die than stay here. Still hanging in there? I'm okay, Boston. Don't worry about me. Thanks. <laughs> 